Hey there, and welcome to my third tutorial on how to make a resource pack in Minecraft. This episode, we're going through armor. Also, since this is the third tutorial, that means that you're not allowed to report that you don't have that texture because that means you didn't follow the first tutorial. The first tutorial goes through how to set up everything to get all the textures and files required for making your resource pack in Minecraft. So go check that tutorial out first. The link will be in the description below if you do not have the textures. Now hit Windows R on your keyboard and type percent app data percent backslash dot Minecraft backslash resource packs because that is where your resource packs are generally going to be. If it's somewhere else, then open that folder up. Now open up the resource pack that we're creating. Go into Assets, Minecraft, Textures, and go into the Models folder at the bottom here. Armor, and this is where all of the armor textures are for Minecraft. So you can see we have the chainmail, we have the diamond armor, we have gold, iron, leather, and we also have the turtle helmet. If you look closely, you'll also notice that the elytra texture is not in here because in fact, the elytra texture is going to be in textures entity. And if you scroll down here, you'll find elytra.png and that will be the elytra texture that you want to modify for elytra. But we're not going to be doing Elytra this time. Instead, we're going to follow the theme that we've done with the previous episode, and that was create an amethyst. And we're going to create amethyst armor to substitute for diamond armor since we substituted the diamond with amethysts. So run GIMP. I already have it open on the side. And then you're going to select diamond layer 1, hold down control, and select diamond layer 2. And then click and drag those into GIMP. And after a bit of time, you'll have both your diamond armor layer textures open. Once the files have opened, we're going to ignore the diamond layer 2 texture and first go with diamond layer 1. Now the difference between these two textures is that the diamond layer 2 texture has the pants and the diamond layer 1 texture has, well, everything else. So the helmet, the boots, and the chest plate, and the shoulder pads also, which are part of the chest plate texture. At this point, there are two other things that will be very helpful for us. One is to open up Minecraft so that we can test the textures live. So make sure to open it in the appropriate version. And the second thing that's going to be handy is to open up our amethyst texture that we made before, actually. So I'm going to hit Control N to open up the to open up a duplicate window. Then I'm going to go into textures, item. And I will find the amethyst texture, which is renamed to diamond.png because that is what we substituted it for. Um, if we click down here, we can change the image view. We can actually confirm that beforehand, as you see. And I'm just going to click and drag that into here. And we're going to be able to use this for color comparison if we need to. And I say if we need to because there are two ways we can do the armor texture. So one is we can redraw the whole armor all over again. And the second uh, which is actually a really easy way to do it, is we just colorize the texture. Now, what do I mean by that? So you're going to hit Control a to select the entire texture, although I'm honestly not even sure if that's required, but I at least do it myself. And then you're going to go right-click, Colors, and down at the bottom here, there's this Colorize option. What this does is it allows you to adjust the color balance across the entire image. Now, there, there are many other options to do the different color balances and stuff through here, and you can mess around with those as you want. For us, right now, we're just going to use Colorize, just so I can show you what goes on. So hue is the actual color of the texture. Now, saturation is how vibrant and strong that color will be. So if I change to this to like, uh, or this would be yellow, and I turn the saturation down, it would turn more grayish. So it'd be kind of grayish yellow. But if I turn the saturation up, it would be stronger and stronger yellow. Although, although I guess this is more like SpongeBob yellow. Currently, we want it to be purple. So I'm going to change it to purple. I'm going to turn the saturation up. And then we want to bring the lightness down a bit so it gets a bit more pronounced. Now, this is the easiest way to do things. Uh, but it can also be a bit weird if you're not satisfied with it. Let's see how this looks in game. So we're going to go File, Override Diamond Layer 1 PNG, and I'm going to load this up in Minecraft now. All right, so I've loaded this up in Minecraft, and I made a little setup here, and we can check out the armor. And as you can see, it actually doesn't look too bad. The um, It's a bit light, but it's it actually looks pretty good for just a recolorized diamond armor. Also, as I said, the leggings did not change because we didn't change the leggings. 
So if we want to change the leggings texture and we didn't remember the exact settings we set for the colorize options, what we can do while it was our last step, we can go into our leggings section and we go filter, repeat, colorize, and it'll do it by the exact same settings. Then we hit shift E and it will override the texture. Now, personally, I do think this is a bit too dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to recolorize it a bit until I get what I want. So I'm going to go into brightness contrast and I'm going to lower the brightness a bit just to make it a bit darker. And I'll buff the contrast a bit. That's a bit too vibrant. And I think like I'm happy with something about there. And then uh, you can see now the whites have been distorted here. So I'm going to have to recolor over those in a white as well. Next, I'm going to go into the leggings and also repeat it so that I do not lose the settings. And I'm going to do the same adjustments here. F3T. And there we go. That looks a bit more vibrant. I actually kind of like that. Let's try it on our person. And hey, it doesn't actually look too bad for just recolorized armor. Now, uh, there's nothing wrong with this way. It's just I kind of... Personally, I prefer to redesign the armor all over again because it allows me to accent it more where I want to, where I need to. So how would we go about doing that? Basically, I didn't like how it looked, okay? Um, but that's okay because now we're going to do it manually. So next we're going to be doing the texture manually, which takes a long time generally, but anything worth it takes a while. There's some sort of expression like that, right? All right, now that I've brought back our diamond textures from before, I'm going to take this amethyst texture that we made that I moved into the project earlier, and I'm going to move it up to the side here. So the reason we have this here is actually just to serve as a color picker, as a kind of basis to get our colors off of for this entire set of armor. Because as you can see, there are quite a few different colors being used in the armor here if you're not colorblind, that is, you can see this I mean so I I'm gonna stop now the outline is darker than the rest of the armor on the inside I'm going to emphasize this darkness I'm going to be taking the outer color on the amethyst here which is quite darker than the rest of the inside of the amethyst I think the color picker is hold control well on the pencil tool and that is correct so we want to avoid these white shines here we can replace them around and move them around but we don't want to paint over them because we just want the shine to be the same. As you can see, there's a variation in these colors. What I like to do is when I start with the outline, I just cover the outline all in one flat color. So I'm actually going to create a new layer here at the bottom by clicking this icon here. And I'm just going to call it Amethyst Layer 1 because this is the layer 1 of the Diamond Armor Texture. And then with that layer selected, be sure you have that one selected, I'm just going to click and then I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to slowly fill in all of these outlines here of the actual helmet and then the rest of the armor as well. Okay, now that I have the outline complete, what you can now see that you can do is you can actually click on this eye down here and it, you can disable the visibility of the different layers. So we can check out how our outline looks without any of the other coloring. Okay, so now next I'm going to take the color picker and I'm going to actually look through here. And we're going to be starting with a light color next. We're going to go for um, not quite the lightest color, but I'm going to go for a pretty light one. I think we're going to go for the second lightest right here in the corner. And I'm just going to generally... Uh, whoops, that's what happens when you don't have the right layer. So select the amethyst layer and then do the color picker. Choose the color you want, go back down to the layer. And uh, I'm just going to fill in what look to be like the lighter pixels here. It doesn't have to be exact, but I'm going to do something pretty close to that. I'm just going to fill in some of the lightest pixels. Next, I'm going to take a slightly darker color. So I'm going to change layers again, go back here take a dark color and I'm going to fill in these darkest colors 
on the image that I can see here. And again, it doesn't have to be exactly right. You're the artist, you get to choose how you want to do it. I'm going to do it this way. Okay, now we're going to take another slightly lighter color and I'm going to fill in some of the pixels that are kind of darkish, but that I didn't fill in the first time around. I think this is the bottom of the boot, so instead I'm going to remove this uh, dark outline here. I'm going to just select those pixels and straight up delete them. And we're going to have it like that, kind of. I like being fast to the side and then you can always come back and fix it up later if it doesn't look good. I'm going to take the lightest color here now, and we're going to fill in with these very lightest uh, pixels here. And if there aren't any that are like quite the lightest, then you can make them up, you know, because that's just how it goes. It's how it be going. And there we go. Okay, you know what? Now that we're actually getting into coloring a bunch of these, there are a few things I'd like to make to the uh, there are a few changes I'd like to make to the armor first before we go into too much detail. First of all, I don't want this sag in here, so I'm just going to take this, Control x Control v and I'm going to move it up just a bit. Uh, next, I don't need this. I don't want this here. Sure, it might be useful in combat, but you know what? This is made of amethyst. It's just there for decoration, let's be honest. So I'm just going to remove that entirely. Uh, you know what? It might be slipping off my head. Maybe I'll just bring this down here actually and then yeah that'll look better now we move that there there we go if we brought it down two pixels here instead which I guess would mean we'll just move the rest of this up one extra pixel so that we can make that happen all right that should be good now if we take our pencil tool and we just Extend that and extend this here and we can remove these pixels now too. So instead of where the shoulder pad goes up here, I'm just going to actually bring this down and then I'm going to add this little kind of fortress stuff here and right here so that this like still has uh, the rays up here. We're going to keep the diamond here and then we're just going to add shading as we want. So. I'm going to hit D for default colors here on the side. I'm going to switch to white, and then I'm going to paint on our amethyst layer. I'm going to paint over some of this shading uh, kind of just as I want. Let's go two pixels. We'll move these up like this. So we'll just have one like that. Yeah, because I think this is the, this part here specifically is on the inside of the arm. So. It would make, I mean, it's barely going to be seen anyway, but either way, I, I just want that high up there instead. So I'm going to add shading. I'm not going to copy all the shading exactly because I don't think I want that. I don't think there is a hotkey for kind of deselecting all quickly. So I'm just going to do the thing where if I have something selected, I hit R to switch to the rectangle select tool and I just click and it removes the selection. There we go, that's starting to come together nicely actually. We're going to choose a deeper color now, and then we're going to start coloring with that. And as we go, make our rounds. Oh, we've already used this color. I'm going to take this color then. We're going to start coloring with that in the, the kind of opposite corners of the shading. Oh, that just looks kind of wrong. Instead, I'm going to switch with V is what I have it set to, and I'm going to take this pit, uh, this color and I'm going to move it here. I'm going to take this darker shading, I'm going to move it in the corner here, and then I'm going to go back to that. Hmm. Wait, you know, this actually looks kind of sick, just transparent like this. Okay, so now that we've run out of kind of light colors here, we could go with darker ones. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start recolorizing the colors we have. So I'm going to click here to change the current color. I'm just going to make it just a bit more uh, saturated as a magenta color. And we'll see how that looks. That kind of looks better. I'll, I'll replace this, this more dull color. Yeah, I think that looks way better. Take it, and we're going to go, uh, we're going to add a bit more 
green to it. That's what this G is for here, I think. So we're going to bring it down a bit more to the white. And then we're going to check how that looks. Still too dark. Just mix and match the colors here. Slightly more pinkish, more light. Let's bring it back to magenta. Back to purple here. Less vibrance a bit. Oh, you know what? Let's make it um, dark along the edges here, give it a kind of sense of depth. Yeah, that'll look good once we're done with that. Um, I think if we go back here and we take this color, it's going to be slightly different, right? Yeah, so we'll kind of just add this here. <laughs> Right. What if we go like um we take this but we go like borderline white? There we go. That's better. And add this here, that there. Sweet. Coming together nicely. We're going to take the lighter colors from here and kind of remap those here. That looks kind of actually terrible. Oh, look at that. That fixed it pretty well. Um, what if we get the lighter color here? There you go. That looks much better. All right, now that we're done with that, I think the contrast between the armor and the outline looks a bit strong, but it might just look pretty darn good in Minecraft. So remember, we still haven't done the bottom yet, but either way, all right. Looks, uh, oh, what's going on? Oh, that's because of the, because of the diamond, it's got an extra hat layer over the, Armor, all right. Right click, select by color. And I'm going to choose this thing. And then I'm going to right click colors, hue saturation. I'm just going to bring the lightness up a bit. Maybe saturation down. Okay, that definitely toned it down quite a lot. Make sure to disable the diamond armor layer here. Okay, so we have a couple more pixels I wanted to fill in. Now that we've disabled the diamond armor layer and the diamond itself, that is the amethyst actually, now we can export. Actually, I don't like this dark spot here. I think that looks pretty good with the actual diamond layer. All right, so we're going to take this thing. And now notice how they have variations colors here on the um, on the actual outline. Uh, I'm not actually going to do that this tutorial because I think this looks uh, pretty good as is, but you're free to do it if you feel like it. Actually, 
actually a good thing to keep in mind is that um each individual leg is symmetrical here uh so you want to make sure to sync that up properly with these leggings here and the back of the leggings here and so we want the dark blues to sync up with the dark blues which means the top of this part of the texture has to match up with this bottom and then also the green has to match up with this top and the yellow bottoms have to match up with this yellow so i'll do that all right i'm pretty sure i'm almost done now all that is left is to do the shine of the white so take this take the white color and i'll just add the shine as it is because i haven't changed it at all and then we can export that and it should be good and all right so it looks kind of okay. Um, perhaps if I remove the outline. So I've done that, changed a little bit. All right. And you know what? That looks actually, that actually looks pretty okay. Let's see how it looks with the rest of the armor on. Okay, so the bottom of the feet, ah, so that would be here, flat an outline here, and all right, that looks pretty good. Now I just need to change the item textures, and we got to change the text. So I've uh, I previously saved the colorized versions as extra textures. These won't actually show up in the resource pack in use, but I have them in case I want them for later. I'm going to navigate back to textures, then I'm going to go item, and I'm going to search diamond, and these are the four textures I need to edit. Oh, actually, these textures are pretty flat. I thought they were going to be more detailed. Sweet. We don't need much work then. And we can see the outline here is it's just black, um, so really all we need is two colors. We just need a lighter color. Shift B for the paint bucket, and then we need a dark color. And that's one piece done. If you save the two colors into these two swatches right here, then you can just switch between them with the hotkey for me, it's V. And there we go. Now we just export these. You know what? Let's make that square. Yeah. Or or we could just instead we can make it more rounded. Let's move this guy down here. This looks like a really long helmet now. Eh, you know what, that's fine. I'll keep it like that. If I really don't like it, then I'll change it back later. Put it like this. Yeah, all right. Just make sure to save the textures. Hey, there we go. All right, Diamond Helmet looks kind of odd, but maybe it's just because I'm not used to it. Now let's change the item names. Go Minecraft, and we're gonna go into Lang and the uh, uh, the file. Okay. If um note if you're in one point eight point nine, it's going to be a dot Lang file and not a dot JSON file. That's completely fine. Just edit that file, and it's going to be pretty straightforward how to edit that one as well. But if you're in a higher version, this is it. We learned how to change the names of items and stuff in the last tutorial, but we're gonna do it here as well. So I'm going to look here for diamond. Did I spell that wrong? Oh, we have to go direction down. That's right, diamond. And there we go. So diamond ore, chest white and diamond helmet will go with amethyst. 
amethyst boots. Now I think there's also the armor clang sounds. So, yep, there we go. Amethyst armor clangs. You know what? We'll, we'll say amethyst armor rings, and that is a bit of foreshadowing for another tutorial I have planned. Cover me with... Um, you know what? We'll say jewels instead. It's capital J. Shiny gear description. Diamond armor saves lives. We'll put amethyst armor saves lives. Is there anything else? Cannot find diamonds, so it should be good, and I'm going to test this in a Skywars game. Alright, we're on Cubecraft, Skywars, and overpowered chests have been selected. Wait, is that punch? Oh, okay, it's power too. So we are getting all the, holy cow, we're getting all the amethyst gear that we needed. Um, there we go, I hate to be that guy, but I can't really afford to lose. Why is my armor not... Well, that was a bit awkward. I did not have the armor stuff up because I had to re-record a part of the tutorial in editing. And since this is recorded at a later date, I didn't have the textures in place properly. But now, as you can see, we have the armor. And it looks pretty good. There we go, you are down, buddy. Sorry about that. Ooh, there we go, sharpness three. Punch one bow. There we go, elite pickaxe. It's four players left, that's including me. How many uses? 15 uses in the punch bow? That's more than enough. I mean, what was the plan there, dude? I'm... I'm on... Dang it. Okay. Let's see if we can cross over here without dying, please. It looks like these guys are having some fun, and I'd like to get in on it. Okay, so he's not going to assume I have punch. There we go. Now that he's down, and I, mean, I kind of want to just fight you for real. Now I don't really want to. Can I? Oh, dang it. There we go. Let me cut you out there. That's actually kind of helpful. You're dead. Good game, dude. Gum. Oh, no GG. Aw. So, to sum it up, this episode you learned how to make armor textures in Minecraft. First, we did it by the colorization method in order to get more temporary results, and then we went by the manual method to get more satisfactory results. We also made sure to retexture the different items that represent the armor pieces, and then we renamed all the armor items and the sounds for equipping the armor. If you did enjoy this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And I don't know what we're going to do next episode, but it's sure to be awesome. Thanks for watching.